I'm the Honorable Jerry Weiner, back with you from uh, Toronto, Canada today, and uh, I want to uh, have a chat with you about uh, the team that uh, I'm a part of. Al Pace has been uh, most instrumental in bringing together about uh, 160 people from uh, different parts of the world who work together in what I call a very unique team in providing uh, a quality of service that is second to none. Now, I was particularly pleased that uh, during the summer, uh, Mr. Pace hired a young law graduate of Osgoode Hall, and uh, her name is Rachel Omolige, and she will be joining me and has joined me as a special assistant for Nigeria. Uh, I've now been privileged to have three assistants, uh, uh, Irina Schroeder, uh, Julia Torbina, and uh, Rachel Omolige. Uh, so more and more, I've been asking Rachel to reach out to uh, many of the friends that I've been uh, meeting. Uh, she'll be assisting me in uh, building the relationships. And uh, I wanted, without further ado, to uh, have you uh, say hello to Rachel through the medium of this uh, uh, small talk. And uh, then I'll come back and uh, have a few words with you to uh, continue the relationship that we've been building uh, through the months when I'm not uh, in, actually in Nigeria. Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Omuloge from Delta State, Nigeria, a recent graduate of Osgood Hall Law School of York University. It's been a great pleasure working with the Pace Law Firm team and on being an assistant to Honorable Jerry Weiner. I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, thank you, Rachel. Uh, I've been hearing from uh, many wondering when and if the Canadian Investor Program is being opened or reopened. And I'm here to tell you that Canada is open and we'll be having a very active immigrant investor program. In the meantime, it's imperative that if you have any interest in business or in, in developing relations with Canada or the benefits of residency, and you think that that is on the horizon in the near future, we would like to get to know you. We'd like to begin to collect your documents because as soon as the program is relaunched, which will be the next few months for sure, those firms with camera-ready material will be able to submit them and will have them approved as quickly as possible. The others may not get in under the targeted areas of that particular year. In the meantime, let me assure you that there is also a very active skilled worker program and a program for professionals, so that if you have a skill that is in either high demand or one that is tied to a job offer, we can be helpful. Now, the best way to operate is for you to let us have a look at your resume, which we will review without charge. We will assess, as you know, the number of points which can be given to the skilled worker category and determine uh, whether you could be a candidate now to enter under that category. Now, it always uh, amazes me that uh, some jobs which are in high demand four or five years ago may not be in such demand today. and uh, Others will become in demand a little later. So uh, don't despair. Once I have your resume, we start a file, we start a relationship, and uh, who knows how quickly we might bring you here. In any event, building relations can always be a mutual benefit because there are many, many Canadians that would like to do more business with Nigeria, that they to get to know each other better, and this is another opportunity. I had a particular example just this week when... Uh, I was privileged to receive two families uh, as visitors from Nigeria in Montreal. Uh, I was able to show them around. Uh, I introduced them to a number of my friends. And uh, I'm really impressed, firstly, not only by their uh, quality and their experience, but uh, their desire to build very, very strong relations. And uh, they found uh, many, many opportunities interesting. One other thing that uh, impressed me I keep talking about uh, security on our streets and uh, our strategic location and the quality of our life. And uh, one of my friends said to me, a port area, a waterfront area where you can walk around securely is a good city to live in. He says, I think I'd like to live here. And it didn't strike me the same way, but I'm uh, chairing the board of the Port of Montreal, the old Port of Montreal, where some 425 people working hard provide the uh, uh, recreation and tourism uh, facility for, uh, I guess, 7 million visitors each year. And uh, day or night, we walk around uh, unimpeded. Uh, actually, on this particular night, it was around 11, 11.30 at night. And uh, 
We just happened to stop a couple of people leaning against the post, uh, looking out on the water and wondering where they came from and what they're doing and where they enjoying themselves. And it was just amazing to see young women walking alone. And uh, uh, it gave me another impression when uh, my friend Tim turned to me and he said, my, my, if, if you can walk a port uh, without fear, this is a good place to be. So uh, I'm just thrilled again to be able to continue to introduce Canada to you, my country a country that I've come to love and uh, know that more and more of uh, citizens and residents of uh, Nigeria would like to join me here and I'd like to hear from you. Don't hesitate. Contact me, contact the law firm and uh, we'll do as much as we can to be helpful, but at least we'll get to know each other better. Thank you very much.